Hey, what's going on everybody? Griff here. Uh, Jeff and I, uh, we just wanted to sit here with you guys for a couple minutes to talk about the hottest technique coming out of Japan right now, all right? And what is that? That's winding, all right? Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. Oh, what a oh, stud. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> that was sick. So Cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday. All right, guys, some breaking news. What's in this week at the Hook of Shock? What a beautiful post fish. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that gut on that. That's a nice fish. It's cool. <laughs> so you guys have heard us talk about it a few times the BR fish with a BR head. Um, it's a pretty cool technique that's coming out. Pretty much just looks like a darter head, but it doesn't do what a darter head does. Um, everybody's used to throwing that darter head. Most people are putting like a ribbon tail worm on it, casting it out and just letting it do its spiral. But this right here, I would probably classify it as like a soft jerk bait. That's the closest thing that I can put to it. You agree, Jeff? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. So, with just a few modifications to the head, uh, they got these fins built into the head. Right there. Bam. Bam. They call it the gliding fin. Mm -hmm. uh, the glider fin. Yep. Right? So, what it does is, just like when you're doing like a stroll. It's like a stroll darter head combination. Yeah. Right? So, when you're doing your stroll... You're kind of like lifting and dropping your rod with like quick pops. And what that does is it causes the bait to just go side to side. It mm -hmm. just rolls. It doesn't do much of anything else. It just rolls side to side like this because that 90 degree line tie is up off of the head. Right. So when you pop it, it's going to drop and then you're going to pop it. But now you have these fins. So when you pop it, it's going to roll, but these fins are going to catch the water. And it's going to do like a motion like this. It's gonna go like this, and then you're gonna pop it, it's gonna roll the other way, and it's gonna go like this, right? And we've been getting these things to go like three, four feet. Yeah, super far. To the far. left or the right. Yeah. Right? It's not a hard technique to use. Uh, there's some things that are a little bit weird about it, but it's very simple to use. Let me let me talk to you about like the BR fish, mm -hmm. right? It's just a, a straight tail shad style bait. Just a straight tail shad style bait. <laughs> not much to it it's got like the little i don't know what do you call that a, a spade yeah right it's got that on there and it's it's made to use in two different ways okay so you can rig it normal like you would rig any kind of plastic you know center your hook get it set up right boom like this right and this is just going to be a cast and a retreat you're going to cast it out there you're gonna let it fall to wherever you want it to fall. It's not gonna count down well, but it will stay in the column where you when you where you want to control it. Uh, and then you just wind it, just wind it in. It's just gonna come in, and that tail is just gonna vibrate like this. It's gonna go side to side, and it's just gonna vibrate. Very very subtle on the action on that. All right. So I've been fishing it this way a lot because. Uh, the smallmouth over mm -hmm. in the river, they, they love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just cast it out there. I'll bang it on some rocks and then I'll burn it and then just quick pause, burn, burn, yeah. burn, and boom, it just gets bit, right? But the other way is if you flip it upside down and you go flat side down, right? You're gonna come in, and I know you've heard me say skin hook it. Yeah. I think I, I misrepresented what I wanted to say. Okay. So you're just gonna come in, but you're gonna come up short. Mm. Right, you're not going to skin hook it. You're just going to come up short, which creates a bend in the bait right here. So you can see, I don't know, can you see the hook in there? Yep. So yep. the hook's not going directly in the center. Right. So when you do it this way, mm. this is when you get that jerk bait style action. Cast it out there. 
uh, you let it fall and then you pop it, but it's not quick pops. Mm. You're not like boom, 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 boom. You're gonna cast it out there, let it fall, you're gonna pop it, and you're gonna kind of feel it fall down, and then you're gonna pop it again. And then you're gonna pop it and pop it. It's never really super quick. Mm. So you want it to, to kind of fall and then boom. Get to the end point and then boom, pop it again. And then boom. Um, it's not a pull, right? You're actually snapping yeah, it's it a, a snap. little bit. Okay. It's a snap of the rod. A lot of people are thinking that you gotta work it fast, but mm. it, it's not really, because it's not doing this. It's not going side to side. No. It's going up and down sideways. Yeah. Right? So it's gotta drop. Mm -hmm. If you wanna have the most motion out of it, yes. it's gotta drop and then get to the bottom of its drop before you pop it again. Mm. You have to control it. Mm -hmm. Right? And it's very easily, to, it's very easy to control. Got it. Right? So when you're doing it, just pop, 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 right? Very like, just get in a rhythm yeah. and you're just, you're going to get it right, right? right. Um, you kind of got to be sitting still. It doesn't work when you're like on the trolling motor, burning bank and yeah. stuff like that. Cause you're just too much slack getting built yeah. up in that line yeah. and you're going to, you're just ripping it pretty much then. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to find targeted areas to cast that, mm -hmm. to, to use it. Right? Now you would say right now, one of the best ways to fish it is on live scope, right? Where you're kind of set up, you can kind of see where the fish are and make a cast. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's an amazing live scope tool, mm. right? So everybody's into, you know, all these forward facing sonar baits and stuff like that. This one right here, like it shows up bright in there. Mm. You can actually see it doing <laughs> its thing, right? It's like, so you're like, oh man, I can see what it's doing. And you can learn, you can learn the rhythm of it just by watching, by watching it on it, right? your scope. Mm -hmm. Right, and I fish it off my kayak where I'm never really sitting still, mm -hmm. but I never lose the bait, really, which is pretty sick. Yeah, right. The BR fish mm -hmm. is an amazing bait. Yeah, it, it gets it done. It does everything that it's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. um, but there are other options out there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So a small, like straight tail, shad style bait. Yep. The one thing that you just have to make sure of is that it has the shape. The shape. Yeah. Okay. So. The rounded top with the flat bottom, like that, is like the perfect shape for it. So when you're working it, all this just creates more resistance for it. And that's why that bend in the how you hook it is so important, mm. right? If it's flat like this, it's just really not gonna do much. Mm -hmm. And it it's kind of weird when you look at it, you're like, ah, oh, it doesn't make sense. But I've, I've hooked it up normal when we first got them. Yeah. And you know, the Ben sent me out there, he was like, work, try to try this. And I was like, it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't understand it. I had to literally go and research it yeah. to figure out just how to put the hook in there. Right. But yeah. Duo has made it super easy for us. Mm -hmm. Like they show us on their on their videos. Their yep. Instagram is just loaded with a ton of information. A lot. Yeah. yeah. One way I've been using it is with a Mylar minnow. One of your favorites. Yeah. One of my favorite baits is a Mylar minnow. Uh, I don't think I go anywhere without Mylar minnows with me. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's very similar. So you have the flat edge here and then you have the rounded top. Right. I like the three and a half inch mylar minnow for it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come up short and then I'm gonna create that bend. Boom. Right there. And you're getting the same action just with a different bait. Yeah, same okay. action. I mean the mylar minnow obviously looks more realistic. Looks great. Great colors. Yeah, yep. it looks more realistic. One thing I, I like doing with this is a like a vertical drop. Mm. So not really casting it, mm -hmm. I'll vertical drop it. And if I got suspending fish, I'll just pop it, just straight down, pop it. Mm. And it'll, it'll be right here, suspended in 20 foot, doing this. In place basically. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, and it drives those suspended fish crazy. You know, at Lake Pleasant, those, there's a lot of suspending fish. Yeah. And just to give them a presentation in their face, they, mm -hmm. they, just, they just come unglued. Right, absolutely. Right? So. The Mylar Minnow is a great choice for it, but there's so many different options mm -hmm. out there, right? Shad, shad Shape Worm from Yamamoto. Yep. Um, the Victory Tail works That's decently right. yep. from uh, Optimum Baits. Mm -hmm. um, there's many options out there. Uh, you just gotta figure out which ones will work. I don't think the bulky ones are, are what you're looking for. Got it. But I mean, if, if you just wanna go straight up, the BR Fish is, is gonna That's, be all you need. Right, exactly. It's really, really all you need. Yeah. Um, uh, talk and to me about the head. There's different sizes. Yeah, so we're cur currently carrying 3.5 gram to 14 gram. Okay. All right. One thing about this is as you're working it, it will ride up in, in the column. I see. 
So a lot of people are fishing shallow water and that's why our 3.5s and our 5 and our 7 grams are going really fast. Mm -hmm. But I have found that the 9 and the 12 are the best size for me mm. no matter what depth I'm fishing mm. in because it's going to ride up. Keeping it down, you have to give longer pauses. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Right? But yeah. when you're fishing, especially when you're watching things live, you're just like, oh, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. You get kind of get excited. And you, you know, all of a sudden that bait's at the surface. Yeah. Yeah. You got a 12 gram weight on and it's at the surface and you're just like, oh, how to get, right. how to get there yeah. from 20 foot down. But it will ride up. I mean, do whatever you're comfortable with, but the nine and the 12 have been my money makers on this right here. Even at Crystal Gardens thrown into uh, the bubblers, yeah. which are like eight Cheater inches, right. eight inches yeah. under the water. Yeah. I'm still running these heavier weights okay. because I can control them in the, in the column. Got there. it. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. So, what combo am I using? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Good question, Jeff. I know. <laughs> uh, I like the spin border from Raid okay, because it's about short. This? Six foot five. Yeah, we just did a video on just this rod it. right here. Six foot five medium. It's pretty, it's not super soft, but it has a lot of give on it, mm -hmm. right? Um, so, I can snap it pretty yeah. well, right? It, it's going to handle the bait and it handles that 12, uh, that 12 gram weight. Yeah. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. And that's just under half ounce. Right. Right. Um, obviously, I got it paired with an Exist. Obviously. Um, I don't think I can do it any other way. Nope. I've been ruined. <laughs> um, but when I'm casting, I'm not really like fishing it like this. Mm. I'm casting, I'm letting it sink, and I'm kind of like holding it out and snap, 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 like that. Really controlled snaps. But like arms out. Arms out. Yeah. Just just to get it right. So you want your kind of want your rod like horizontal, mm -hmm. and then boom, snap. So if you're holding it up here, you're really not you're not really not in control of anything. Got it. Right. So, boom, 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 boom and then fish. And then fish. <laughs> boom. And then it's on like that, dude. A uh, normal line for you? Yeah. So I'm probably gonna run a 10 pound line on there. Okay. Um, 10 to 12, 18 pound braid mm -hmm. to a 10 to 12 pound leader okay, yeah if you use the smaller heads obviously you want you might you know, adjust to a smaller like seven eight pound yeah uh you guys make fun of me all the time for using that light line <laughs> but it, it definitely helps with the action of the bait right like yeah. a small 3.5 gram head's not really going to love 12 pound floral no. yeah right so adjust it to the way that you guys are fishing um it's a great way to catch fish i've i've i feel like this is going to be from like spring to midsummer, mm. everybody's gonna be fishing, fishing it. Yep. I think it's gonna take over in like the Great Lakes area because smallmouth really are gonna love it. Yeah. Right. I think that's 90% of what I'm catching on it is smallmouth. Mm -hmm. uh, I've caught some really good largemouth on it and some stripers, but I mean, I think I think some of these old school techniques are gonna go away because these newer techniques are coming in, like the hair jig. Right. Yeah. Who wants to throw a hair jig? <laughs> Like, I think I think this technique it's something that the fish really haven't seen before. Yeah. I mean, they've seen obviously side to side and like a jerk bait and mm -hmm. a glide bait and stuff like that, but something that goes side to side and down and up. Yeah. It's and like, that you can keep it in place, you can cast it well, like yeah. fish it at different depths. I think it's really something special that a, a lot of guys will will catch a lot of fish with. Oh yeah, people people are going to start getting into it, dude. And I think right now in the winter because it has the other action to it, mm -hmm. you can slow roll it. Oh yeah. Because the a little bit of movement gets that tail going on that VR right? fish. Yeah. You don't need to burn it. But you can slow roll it, bouncing off some rocks. I mean, it's gonna be good. And eventually we're starting to start getting different heads like tungsten heads. Yep. And and then you know we're gonna get a lot of control over what we're doing with exactly. this technique. It's yep. super sick guys. Uh if you haven't tried it, uh I recommend that you give it a try. Um go out there and have some fun. Uh if it's not something that you're into, try to get out of your comfort zone and try something different. Um, and if it if it doesn't work right away, keep using it, right? <laughs> yeah. Don't give up, like, you know, pick up your drop shot or your, or your wacky rig Senko. Don't give up right away. Just continue to use it until mm -hmm. you learn it. Yeah. And then you can, you'll find out that you might really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. You got anything else, Jeff? Uh, that's it, dude. It's a great technique. Let's, let's go fishing with it. Yeah, hell yeah. All right, guys. Thank you on behalf of everybody here at the Hookup Tackle. Thank you so much. Thank you for your business. 
Uh, I hope 2024 is going to be great for you, and see you later.